Hi there, welcome to another video from Parker Adams Boat Sales and today we're going to show you this brilliant Monterey 214 FS. We're going to show you the features and benefits it has to offer. Um, so please like and subscribe to our channel and follow me on this great tour of this little boat. Um, one thing I'd like to say though is at Parker Adams Boat Sales we sell all sorts of boats um, from anything from small sports boats like this to large motor boats and what we do we give just as much effort into these boats as we do into the large expensive ones and we really feel um, we, we just really do our best for every single boat we take on. Um, as you can see we're in, in, we're in a fantastic sunny day today at Universal Marina um, on the River Hamble on the south coast of England and um, believe it or not it's the beginning of February and I'm in a t-shirt it's absolutely brilliant um, but just have a look at this pretty little Monterey 214 um, it's got the black hull which um, is going to have a machine polish before it's sold on so it'll be nice and gleaming um, but it is in pretty good shape anyway um, the boat's actually dry stacked here at Universal Marina, so we've had it put in for us today. So the bottom is very clean, although it could do with an anti-foul if you're going to keep it in the water. Um, the stern drive, I've already had a look at it out the water as well, and it's in really, really nice condition. Um, and actually in here is a 4.3 Volvo Penta GS. Um, and that, for a boat of this size, it offers really good performance, um, but also um, we're not um, thrashing the boat to get full speed out of it. So it's actually a um, 50 mile an hour boat um, with the 4.3 GS. Um, so let me just step on board. And as you can see, it's quite a nice um, walker board, but it's a really versatile little boat, this. Um, this is actually the slightly newer version of another Monterey we sold last year. Um, and what I find with this one, it offers much more versatility because we've got not only this bathing platform on the back, and we've got a really nice U-shaped seating um, into the rear of the cockpit. And there's a nice little feature here where you can actually remove this section and you can walk through and then you can pop it back down. And then we've got a really nice U-shaped seating here. And as you can see, there's a table here as well. And um, this table really cleverly stores in the engine bay, which I'll show you the engine bay in a minute. Um, but also we can move that table to this side if we want. Um, and also we can sit round it where it is now. So if we want to do water sports, we've got a rear facing seat. We can have a really good view of what's going on. Um, under each of these seats is storage as well as the centre, but also the owner um, has got, he hasn't got it here, it's in his, it's, it's in his garage at home, that there's another cushion and that fits into this section here. So not only can you have an inner um, lounging area, you can have an outer one. And the benefit of that is, is this brilliant bimini. So if you're out here in the sunshine, oh, it's getting a bit hot, I want to cool down, but I still want to lie down, you can use the lounger down here as well. Um, and this bimini um, can fold back and be stored in the upright position, but also it has a full camper cover that goes all the way around. Um, so even in cooler evenings, we can close ourselves off and use this as a living room. It's a really fantastic addition. You don't always get on a sports cruiser like this. Um, also, it has a tonneau. So it has a full tonneau as well, which covers just this section and you can fit it around when this bimini is put back, you can fit it around the bimini as well. So you don't have to dismantle it to put the tonneau on. It also has a full boat cover. So it covers it from front to back as well. Um, so really versatile little boat with lots of great little options. Um, the helm seat has the benefit of a bolster as well as the passenger does as well. It gives you the benefit of standing to drive as well as um, a nice leaning back with a slightly elevated position. But if you want the full protection from the screen, you can sit down as well. Um, this also comes with a chart plotter. Um, what make is the chart plotter engine? Simrad Go 7, so a 7 inch plotter. Okay, so we've got a nice little, quite modern 7 inch plotter that goes here. Um, again, it's with the owner at the moment, so we haven't got the benefit of seeing it. Um, but I like this really nice gauge cluster. Um, again, it's an upgrade from the, um, from the previous model Monterey, um, but it's, I think it's really nice. It feels like a sort of a high-end sort of sports car. Um, it's really, a really nice condition. And obviously, the controls are just a hair nice and easy as well. Um, with the original Monterey steering wheel. Um, we've got a nice bit of wet storage just down here. Um, um, so it's a nice lock. It's a little bit grubby at the minute, 
um, but it's a nice locking chuck fenders. There is an anchor in there, but it's a spare anchor. There's actually an additional anchor in the anchor locker up the front as well. Um, and then we have a stereo just in here with a USB point in there, a nice little unit, nice and clean and protected from all the weathering in there and just like a little bit of storage knocked around. Quite a few cup holders, speakers out here, obviously. Um, nice little storage areas. There's plenty of places to screw all things away. Um, before we go and show you the cuddy, let me just show you the engine bay. Because one of the things I like about this as, a, as an engineer is actually the condition of the engine. It's in really nice shape. Um, for a boat that is now 15 years old, I'd start to expect to see quite a lot of corrosion um, on the manifolds because um, these do suffer if not looked after properly with um, corroded manifolds um, any form will tell you that um, but the beauty of this engine is it's actually currently winterized we're not running it today because it's winterized so every year the owner um, makes sure it's flushed through and then flush with antifreeze to stop this exact corrosion um, and it also has the benefit of a flushing port so you can actually flush the engine with fresh water when you've finished using it um, it's a really good addition and really prolongs the life really reduces the amount of corrosion that can happen in the engine room um, but it is nice and clean in here um, for for this type of boat the table out here um, stores just in the slot just here so i can just take it off quickly and show you quite simply it'll just store itself into there like that nice and easy there's a couple of extra pedestal and um, shorter pedestals here and they're the ones that will fit here to make this into a lounger so again we can store things away it's quite versatile this is a storage area as well because it's closed off so anything you put in here won't then fall into the engine room um, it's just a really nice condition throughout I'm, I'm very pleased with the engine room on this let me drop this down and do you want to follow me through Andrew and we'll just show you the cuddy quickly bearing in mind it is just a cuddy um, in fact you can probably just go and have a look down there Andrew it's uh, as you can see it's got the nice beige sort of leather look to it um, but it is a fairly comfortable occasional overnight or just getting out out of the cold just to have a nice um, um, just to just to get out of the cold in there there is place for a porta potty to go under here if you wish um, it doesn't have one and of course you wouldn't want to inherit one anyway there are still speakers down here as well so you've got four speakers all together um, and um, and again it is in lovely condition sometimes a boat which's been kept quite poorly there'll be it'll be quite grubby there'll be quite a bit of mold maybe showing down below and things like that but not on this boat it's, it's actually in really nice shape um, and then the final thing is access through the bow um, it's done by using the door for steps and simply up onto the non-slip deck and then from here we can control the anchor in the anchor locker we can throw that out and then tie it on um, and then we can obviously tie on fenders and things like that um, but lovely non-slip here we've got the hatchway for the cuddy which we can lift for aeration and in the moment we get in and out of there as well but all in all it's a really neat little boat well that concludes our short review of the monterey 214 fs um, and as you can see i've put the bimini down um, which is again it's lovely to be in the sunshine on a february summer's day so that concludes our video, um, so please don't forget to like and subscribe again to our channel and watch us on the next video and hope to see you soon. Take care.